Good morning to all my wonderful viewers out there and welcome back to another drop list video the series where we cover all the individual items releasing in a specific week for various different streetwear brands and in today's video we're going to be covering everything that is dropping in week 14 of Supreme's Spring Summer 2021 collection. Welcome back guys to week 14's drop list video. We haven't got too much longer for the season to end actually. If it's week 14, Supreme seasons are normally around 18 weeks. So we're getting close to the end. I wonder if there'll be anything left that's worth mentioning in these next four weeks of the season. Because normally Supreme kind of dies down by the end of the season. They're like, ah oh, crap, we got to this crap we forgot to release during the season. Let's just chuck it right at the end. So... Will there be anything hot this week? Probably. I'm more thinking the next four weeks, they're probably going to be pretty dead. But Supreme could prove me wrong. They could release some crazy stuff. We're just going to have to keep covering it all and see what that is. See if there is anything that's hot in those last four weeks. But let's talk about week 14. So in today's video, we're going to be covering the drop time, the drop date, all the pieces releasing in it, the retails, and my thoughts and opinions on the individual items and the week as a whole. How we're going to do all that is by using a Supreme Community page. We'll head on over there now and we'll start covering the drop time and drop date for week 14. And here we are at the week 14 page guys. If you want to vote on the items individually, head on down to that description section below and you can vote on the items yourselves. But let's dive into the release details first and the drop date for this week. So. Items releasing in week 14 will drop on the 27th of May, 2021. They will have an online release of 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time in the US and 11 a.m. Uh, 11 a.m. British Standard Time for the EU there. It'll also be releasing in store in a lot of its locations around the world. And it'll be releasing in Japan on the 29th, which is the Saturday, if I'm right there. Uh, yeah, Japan gets it a little bit later. I don't know why. It is what it is. That's how it works. I don't know why that's the case. Now, let's get into the items this week. So we have a lot releasing this week and we're going to cover it how we cover every other week by diving into the individual sections down here. So we'll kick it off by diving into our first section this week, which is the jackets releasing in week 14. And we are only getting two jackets this week and it's in collaboration with the North Face. We covered this in a streetwear talk video, so if you want me to, you know, go into immense detail, definitely go watch that streetwear talk video. But I'm just simply going to say the uh, Summit Series Outer Tape Seam Shell Jacket, this one here, not for me. I'm, I just don't wear that type of stuff. It's not my aesthetic, it's not a jacket that I would wear. If it's cold enough for these type of jackets to be, you know, viable, I honestly just layer. I just wear overcoats, over sweaters, over, uh, over turtlenecks. Like, I just wear layers and layers and layers of clothing. So I just, yeah, I just literally have no use for this. So I just would not pick it up at all. I did, did dive into how I felt about it aesthetically in the streetwear talk video as well. The coach's jacket, the Summit Series coach's jacket, I look I wouldn't wear the pink it's a little bit too spicy for me I wouldn't wear the olive um, initially I thought this was more of a goldy um, color because when you look at the um, actual jacket when it's under a camera's light it looks totally different in the editorial but it is more of an olive color I mean the olive color is alright but I just wouldn't wear it the black one's probably the only one that I would wear but again I just wouldn't spend that kind of money on a coach's jacket because even the coach's jacket isn't something that I would normally wear I'm gonna give it a thumbs up because I think the black one's all right, but again, it's just not something that I would wear. Uh, if they gave it to me for free, I'd wear it, but wouldn't we all, right? Um, yeah, that's all I really got to say about the two jackets releasing this week. Just not for me. I know, they, I know they're gonna pop off. I know everyone's gonna be like, damn, the North Face jackets, woo! But I'm just like, eh, it ain't for me. That's all I got to say about the jackets. Let's move into the hats releasing in week 14. And we have three hats releasing in week 14. Kick it off, we have a labels six panel here, where it's a six panel covered in a bunch of Supreme labels. That's going to be a down vote for me. Not really my, you know, style over here. Next, we've got the Summit Series Outer Tape Seam Camp Cap, a camp cap with the tape uh, outer seam that all the other pieces have from this collaboration. 
Again, not for me, just not something I can see myself wearing. Next, we have the bandana camp caps. Uh, they come in the same colors and also some different colors that the faux fur bomber jackets came in, that the bags came in. Basically, the bandana print's been a huge theme for the spring summer 2021 collection. This cap is awesome. I absolutely love it. The colors are awesome. I'd wear the black, I'd wear the... I don't know what it's called. I don't know what that second color is called. I'd wear the blue. I'd wear the pink. I'd wear the red. They're all just super steezy. They're all just super steezy. That's a thumbs up from me. 48 bucks. It's an awesome cap. You should definitely pick it up if you can. But that's all the hats releasing in week 14. So let's move into the pants and see what pants are releasing this week. We have three pants releasing this week. We have the Dashes Wall Sweatpants. Sweatpants covered in a wall... Um, graphic with all these newspapers and stuff all over it that's going to be a down vote for me not interested in paying 188 us dollars for that next we have the supreme north face summit series outer tape seam mountain pants not for me just not something that i would wear 308 usd as well Ooh, i'd just rather buy myself a nice pair of denim for that kind of money uh, and last but not least we have the supreme north face pigment printed sweatpants i just don't wear sweatpants Sweat, uh, like loose fitting uh, well, it's not even loose fitting pants because I would wear loose fitting jeans. It's just that, yeah, I don't know. Just don't wear sweatpants at all. Either nylon, cotton, whatever. Sweatpants just ain't my vibe. Um, I don't know. Just It just doesn't fit everything else that I wear. So I just like those tighter fitting pants. But yeah, no, nah, it's going to be a down vote for me. I just can't see myself wearing a piece like this in any of the colors. The colors are just a bit too crazy for me as well. Uh, let's move into the next section this week though guys let's have a look at the shorts releasing in week 14 and we have two pairs of shorts releasing this week we have the labels pick shorts um it's the same graphic on the camp cap but on shorts that's going to be a no from me next we have the work shorts a pair of like chino styled shorts with a pinstripe pattern on a lot of the colors yeah look these are all right i could see them i could see a lot of people rocking these uh oh, it's really hard to tell with like I'd have to see how they fit on body for me to be like really certain about them. Uh, it's going to be a down vote for me just because I'm a little uncertain on how they would fit. But some of the colors are nice, like the pinstripe black would be cool. The black and the uh, brown here would be nice. The blue would be kind of cool as well. Um, yeah, no, it has potential, but I'm really worried because I'd have to see how it fits on body first. But that is all the shorts releasing in week 14. Let's move into the accessories that are releasing this week. And we have three accessories releasing in week 14. Kick it off, we have the Supreme The North Face Summit Series Outer, ta outer Tape Seam Neck Pouch. I mean, these would be alright to chuck your phone in or maybe your, you know, um, card holder or something like that. I just, yeah, don't wear neck pouches. Um, there are a couple of like Alix Studios ones that I'm interested in because, you know, I'm such a fanboy of Alix Studios, but yeah, I don't know. I just realistically can't see myself wearing that. So I'm just going to give it a down vote for that. Next, we have the Patchwork Ranger Belt. Uh, it's this belt made up of different patchwork, uh, either materials slash colors. On the black, it's not very noticeable, but you move to the brown and you can already see the patchwork pieces here. And then on the multicolored one, well, it is goddamn obvious. It comes in a variety of different colors on that one. That one's going to be a down vote for me. I just let me wear a normal leather belt. I'm yeah, not too hot on that one. A <laughs> little bit too crazy for me. Next, we have the Supreme Royal Delft hand painted 190 Bowery large plate for a whopping 4,198 US dollars. Uh, yeah, look guys, um, maybe you guys have four racks to spend on this piece. I would rather spend four racks on some investments, uh, maybe save up for a house, maybe just literally anything over a plate that has a supreme location on it. <laughs> like I just, uh, what? I understand, hand painted, that's a very rare thing to have these days on ceramics like this, because most of the time they're just printed by a machine. So hand painted, you will have the auth authenticity of like human made flaws and stuff like that. And I know some people are like kind of turned off by that. They're like, why would I want a human mistake on my plate, bro? I want them to do it perfectly. A machine would be better. Yeah, but if you have human mis like human errors on a piece, 
It makes it feel more authentic and more handmade than if you just have a machine that does a massive print all over the piece. And not to talk about it too much, that's why I like handmade clothing and stuff like that, because the imperfections actually make the per piece perfect. But anyway, that's just how I feel. That's how I would take ceramics like this. But for four Gs, I've got other things I could spend that on. Anyway, that's all the accessories releasing in week 14. Let's dive into the shirts and see what shirts are released. This week, we have four shirts releasing this week. Kick it off, we have this uh, Gingham short sleeve shirt. Nah. That looks like something I can find in an off shop, bro. That looks like something that's been in the off shop rack and nobody wants it, so we're going to miss that one. Next, we move into one of my favorite new sections, the Rayon shirts. If you guys do not own a Rayon shirt, get one for the summer season. They are awesome for the summer season. It's such a lightweight material. And just be warned though, do not wear bags over the top of it. Do not wear anything that can rub on it because it will start piling really quickly and it'll just ruin the shirt. They are very lightweight and very easy to destroy, but man, are they comfy in the summertime. Plus, if you do what I do, where you wear some nice dress pants, uh, nice leather belt, you wear the wacky crazy all over print rayon shirt, then you just wear some nice sneakers, nice boots, whatever. It's just a summer fit. It's just a really easy summer fit where you're not gonna be sweating the heat. So I love rayon shirts. The first one, however, Dash's wall rayon short sleeve shirt where it has that wall graphic all over it. That one I'm not feeling as much. It's just the graphic. Um, it's, it's, most of the time I think Supreme Rayon shirts are a hit, but they do release some that are a little bit wacky. Next we have the Firecracker rayon short sleeve shirt. I'm a little bit confused on what's going on in the actual graphic itself. Um, there's some kind of fire slash firecracker going off over here. There's a bunch of stuff all over it, but I actually kind of just like the colors. The colors just look really nice on the shirt, so I'm just going to give it a thumbs up for that one. I don't mind this one too much. Next, we move into the Fuck Rayon short sleeve shirt. Little candle with the smoke spelling out fuck, obviously, up there. I think it's fun. I think it's playful. It's going to piss some people off. I'd wear it just to piss people off. <laughs> I don't know. It's a good laugh. Like, people get offended by clothing with profanity on it, but I just think it's funny. Like, imagine being offended by clothing, bro. Like, chill out. <laughs> So yeah, I mean, that's just going to be a thumbs up for me. Like, I just wear it just to piss people off. And it's a nice color, too. Like, I can imagine nice black suit pants, the whole setup that I was talking about before, and this bang-on shirt, bro. I feel like that's a vibe. Like, heaps of people won't feel it, but that doesn't matter. I feel it. That's all that matters. Anyway, that's all the shirts releasing in week 14, guys. Let's move into the bags. Well, of course, the only bag we're getting this week is in collaboration with the North Face, the Summit Series Outer Team Seam Route Rocket Backpack. Ah, uh, yeah, it's gonna be a down vote for me. <laughs> I don't know, man. I just don't wear backpacks. I just, it, it was doomed from the start. It didn't matter if it was, you know, absolutely fantastic, the silhouette looked awesome. I just don't wear backpacks. Backpacks make me think of like high school, man. I just, duffel bags. Duffel bags are my vibe these days. So miss me with that. Definitely not picking up that. Uh, we've only got, wow, only three sections. We, we've been plowing through this. No problem. Okay, so we have the top slash sweaters, the skate uh, skate gear, and the sweatshirts. Well, let's dive into the top slash sweaters and see what we're getting this week. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, not a lot of good stuff this week. Ah, uh, nah, that's, that's a bit harsh. It's not as bad as I made it out to seem. What we have first is the labels polo. All the Supreme labels all over a polo shirt. And that's gonna be a no from me. Next we have the Barong uh, patch short sleeve top with a, I don't know which culture that is, but a um, cultural graphic on the front that says Supreme on the bottom of it. Hey, look, I don't mind this one too much. Give it to me in a white and a black. I wouldn't mind picking it up. Next we have the Supreme, the North Face pigment printed pocket tee. I was never a huge fan of the like dye on these. Like I I would honestly before prefer the Barong patch a short sleeve top in the white or black over any of these colors. I don't know if you guys feel the same way, but that's how I feel. I'm gonna give this one a downvote. I actually would just prefer this t-shirt over this t-shirt. That's just that's just how I feel. 
Uh, yeah, well, let me know if you guys feel the same in the comment section below about the tees. But let's move into our second last section, which is going to be the skate gear. We're only getting one bit of skate gear releasing in week 14, guys, which is the Buck Skateboards. Now, it's a bit unfortunate that it's on two boards. I'm hoping that they sell them as a two pack because I wouldn't want to buy one and have to buy the second one. Hopefully they sell them as a pack. And that's why they're 130, like normally they're around like 50 to 60 bucks. So seeing them at 136 makes me think they're selling it as a two pack, which is good. Uh, look, I'm a huge fan of having like wall mounted skateboards and then having them as like accessories. I think they're really, really cool. Uh, this would be a prime example of that. I think it's a really cool graphic to have as like two skateboards on a wall. I'm gonna give that a thumbs up, that's a vibe. And if you like skating, well now you get two boards. <laughs> Not that I'm skating in like graphic boards. I much prefer them like being displayed on walls and stuff like that, but these are steezy. These are steezy. Well, we've only got one section left, guys. The sweatshirts. Normally one of my favorite sections. Uh, let's dive in, see what sweatshirts we're getting this week. And last but not least, here is the final section, the sweatshirts releasing in week 14. Kick it off, we get the Dashes wall hooded sweatshirt. I actually don't mind the um, hoodie version of it. I actually like all over print hoodies because then you can wear just like some big outwear piece that's super basic. like uh big black leather uh jacket like a big single colored jacket of some sorts and then you can let the crazy all over print seep through in the little gaps where you're not wearing the jacket like the chest area and the, the hoodie and stuff like that i like wearing it like that i think they're kind of cool so i'm gonna give it a thumbs up i know this one's gonna um go under retail on grailed in the future because not a lot of people actually want to pick this up but I think this is a cool item that, look, if someone's selling it for like 100 USD or 110 USD, I wouldn't mind picking this piece up. Next, we have the pigment printed crewnecks. These are all right. I think the um, brighter colors are going to be the really popular ones because I can see people wearing just like black jeans. And just like how I'm doing with this like bright blue um, champions hoodie, wear a bright color like this. So I don't mind those last three colors. Those aren't too bad. The first two, though, the olive and the like over dyed black. Eh. Not really feeling that one, but that is everything releasing in week 14. I gotta say, week 14 was a lot more popping than week 13. I thought week 13 is definitely the worst Supreme week that we've had so far. Although, uh, you know, I don't want to hold my breath because we got week 15, 16, 17, and 18 to come. And that's towards the end of the season, so we could get a worse week than that. But I honestly would love to pick up these two rayon shirts. So, you know, if anyone wants to proxy me an extra large one, you know, hit me up on IG. Because, <laughs> I, I mean, I think they're sick. Yeah, week 14, not as bad as week 13. There's actually some pieces I would like to pick up this week. Uh, obviously, because I'm Australian, I can't. You know, we don't have Supreme Australia, unfortunately. But, yeah, pretty steezy pieces, guys. Let me know how you feel about week 14 or any of the pieces releasing in week 14 down in that comment section below. Well, that's it, guys. That is everything to be said about week 14. We covered the drop time, the drop date, all the pieces releasing in it. You saw the retails. And now you know my thoughts and opinions on it. I gotta say, I will keep repeating it because week 13 was an absolute dumpster fire. Week 14 is hitting a lot more, like the bandana cap, the rayon shirts, if you're a fan of the North Face stuff, you got the North Face stuff. Or if you like buying very, very expensive plates, you can buy that as well. <laughs> There's a little bit here for everyone. But I want to hear from you guys. I love hearing what you're going to be picking up this week. Will you be picking up anything from week 14? Or is this week the total opposite of how I feel with week 13? Do you think week 14 is a dumpster fire? Well, let me know. I want to hear if you're going to be picking up anything down in that comment section below. And of course, if you guys want me to keep covering upcoming Supreme Weeks, upcoming Supreme Collaborations, don't forget to leave a big old like on this video, comment in the comment section down below, and subscribe to the channel as that is one of the best indicators to let me know that you guys want to see this type of content on the channel. We're also trying to hit a new subscriber milestone of 3,000 subscribers. Guys, we're only a couple days until the end of May. We've got like four subs to go. Can we do it? Can the fellas do it? I don't know. I don't know. If we could, that would be awesome, but unfortunate if we can't. Let's see if we can hit 3,000 subscribers before the end of May. 
But that's all I got to say about week 14, guys. I hope you managed to pick up any of the items you are looking for in the size and color that you're after. So until the next Supreme video, until the next drop list video, until the next streetwear talk video in general, guys, I'll catch you later.